How's it going everyone, it's Gadget's Boy, welcome to another video. We are back in the studio because today uh, we're going to be looking at video editing on the Intel Evo platform powered Samsung Galaxy Book Pro. In the last video we looked at photo editing using this laptop on the go as well as bringing it back to the studio to see what I actually do with it and how it powered my day comfortably well when it comes to battery life performance and even just how slick it is and being able to just take this around with me. Today we're going to be editing a car video. I'm going to be showing you the process that I go through when it comes to editing a car review video and uh, we're going to be using this Intel Evo platform powered Samsung Galaxy Book Pro to also edit the video, review it and do the whole process so you can see how powerful this laptop is and how useful this is for a content creator. Let's check it out. So just like any other car reviews or any reviews that I do in general, it requires a lot of research and actually using a product. And today we're looking at the Volkswagen ID3, which is an electric car that I've been using for a long time now. So that's my research process done in terms of actually using it and see what it feels like. So the next step is actually planning the review, the content that's gonna go out to the public to actually see what the car's all about. So potential buyers can actually be aware of what the car can do and can't do. So we talk about things like the design. So we plan how we're actually gonna capture the design of the car, whether it's the front of the car, the back, the sides. We do a bit of research, ask questions when it comes to the manufacturer so they can educate us on parts of the car uh, that needs to be highlighted. So once we've done that, we then go inside of the car to see what the interior looks like. So whether it's the fabric that's used on the, on the upholstery, whether it's the dashboard, the sound system, the space in the car for the, for the drivers and the passengers, what ports are available like USB-C cable ports, uh, wireless charging ports, that kind of stuff. We spend a lot of time on the infotainment system because this is a tech channel. We want to talk about all the tech that's inside of the car. So we look at the infotainment system, what it can do, what are the safety equipment, how easy is it to do in terms of user interface and operating it, especially whilst you're driving. You're not meant to use it while you're driving, but there are times where you need to reach for a button or change volume or something like that. We need to be able to test how easy that is, for example. We then take the car on the road to see what the driving feels like, what the driver's style feels like in terms of cornering, in terms of stability and you know comfortability in the car, speed, as well as braking as well. So we put all these things together and package it into a content that's then get, that then gets edited and published for everyone to watch. What's very important though, is actually having the tools available to be able to capture this, whether it's from the camera, the microphone, and having the laptop like the Intel Evo platform powered Samsung Galaxy Book Pro that allows me to instantly wake the laptop whilst I'm in the car, for example, when I'm finishing shooting, I might just quickly open the lid, plug in the micro SD card into the laptop and review the clips and see, make sure that I've got all the bits that I need to do and is matching up with my content planning. And once that's matching up, I can then easily just take this with me, nice and lightweight, nice and thin, slick, take it back to the studio or anywhere that I want to, plug in my headphones because it's got a 3.5 mm headphone jack and start editing my videos. I'm gonna be editing my videos using Adobe Premiere on this. And thanks to that Intel Core i7 11th gen processor in here with Intel XE graphics, it's no issue at all. Loading the files are very smooth. You can easily scrub uh, through the timeline and see the videos individually or collectively and no issues at all. It loads instantaneously and I, quickly, I can quickly edit my videos, check the audio and also export the files afterwards ready to go in different file formats. So once I finish shooting all the B-rolls and bits that I need to cover, the great thing is I can just plug my adapter straight into one of the USB-C ports and I can start to review the files before I even get into the studio. Because this has got a really good battery life, I don't have to plug it in. Uh, it means I can start my project right inside of the car if I really need to. Using Adobe Premiere and Intel XE graphics, as well as that Intel Core i7 11 gen processor, this allows me to load up Adobe Premiere and my files as well. I can start to preview them, see what they look like, make sure I've got the shots. Once I'm ready to go inside and carry on editing, I can simply just close the lid and go inside of the studio. And when I get in there, open it back up, instant wake, I can start editing and finishing my project. So that's it for the Intel Evo platform powered Samsung Galaxy Book Pro. This has got a great battery life. It's powerful with Intel XE graphics and Intel Core i7 11th gen processor. But ultimately, this is a great tool, all in one package that allows me to be more productive and speed up my workflow as well, especially when it comes to editing videos 
on the go and in the studio as well. I was able to start my project right inside of the car after filming the B-roll bits that I need to do, as well as then bringing it back in here, do my piece to camera, putting it all together and exporting that to be able to put that on YouTube. If you want to see that video that we edited, that will be on the channel as well. So do stay tuned for that and look out for that. But in the meantime, if you want to find out more about Intel Evo platform or the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro itself, links will be in the description area so you guys can check it out and do your own research. In the meantime, if this is your first time around here, please smash the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so every time there's a video up like this, you get notified as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.